All right, it's another episode of Daily Doc Talk. So, uh, today I want to talk to you about a patient who saw him today for a follow up and then he's going to be doing procedure tomorrow. We're going to be doing some platelet rich plasma for the lower thoracic and the upper lumbar spine. We've uh, been working with him now for a little over a year, probably about a year and a half. I mean, this has just been an absolutely amazing story. This patient was on the brink of suicide with the amount of pain that he was in. He had undergone so many procedures. He had a fusion and was still suffering with debilitating back pain. And we diagnosed him with a supraspinous and interspinous ligament injury. He was injured in a full flexion position, which means he was like kind of fully bent over and then took a blow uh, that basically kind of forced that position even further. And so everything that we had done in, in the procedure was focused on that. And so this is now his third procedure. Overall, we've probably got him about 70% better, but still having some lingering pain. And so we're going in with our, our third procedure now. First procedure was a bone marrow procedure uh, about a year and a half ago. And then probably about six, eight months ago, we did a PRP procedure. And then we just repeated, or we're going to repeat another PRP procedure. What I wanna talk about for today's episode is about two months ago or so, he went and had some trigger point injections. He's out of state, so uh, he needed some, you know, some temporary relief. His pain was kind of ramping up a little bit. And so he went to his local pain management doc and they did some trigger point injections uh, into the paraspinal muscles. And that sent him into a big pain flare. It was actually kind of the, the impetus for him coming back out here for us to continue to do more work. And so this is something that we see, not, I wouldn't say overly common, but we, we've seen it a bunch of times uh, and in these situations, and so I wanted to talk about, you know, why might this happen? Why might trigger point injections into the paraspinal muscles or your erector spinae muscle group, those are the big, your backstrap muscles that are beside your actual bony spine, why might that worsen his pain or why could that have worsened his pain? And we see this and what I believe is happening is, so when you have ligamentous damage, remember that those ligaments are there to support the position of bones, there's to support the joints, they're there to provide appropriate set of feedback so that your brain knows where you are in space. Um, but when you've got a ligament that's attaching two bones together, you also have muscles and fascia that are also holding that in place. And so my personal view on how we are set up is that we're this basically big myofascial bag and we've got bones floating in this myofascial bag. And so our bones are floating in this ligament and this muscle kind of system, this biotensegrity system. And so if you have a situation where a ligament is damaged, and so if so overstretching of that ligament could cause pain, and then you have increased muscle tension, so you have muscle guarding, because the muscles are overworking to try and reduce the amount of load that is being placed on those ligaments, a normal compensatory mechanism for ligament laxity or any form of joint instability. And then you go in with an anesthetic, sometimes a steroid, but you, in his case, just an anesthetic, and you shut down those muscles for a period of time. That's what trigger point injections are. You inject some anesthetic in there. That kind of shuts them down uh, for a temporary period of time. And then they kind of uh, come back online. And that can then result in those ligaments being placed under more load, more stress. And so with him, when they relaxed pharmacologically with the anesthetic, relax the paraspinal muscles. I believe what happened was that there was now an increased demand, increased load on the ligaments that, that his brain is perceiving as painful. And so because of that, he is then put into this pain spiral that he could not really get out of. Uh, we ended up having to use a combination of Tylenol and acetaminophen to even get him out of bed and just being able to move around. That's how bad this pain flare was. And so um, that's what I want to talk about today. This idea that uh, when we have joint uh, instability due to ligament instability, or we've got ligament laxity or ligament damage, the guarding, the muscle guarding, hypertonicity around that joint is sometimes, and a lot of the times I believe, protective. The body is trying to protect the joint, protect those overstretched ligaments. And so when we go in and we, whether it's trigger point injections or excessive, excessive relaxation and massage, 
Sometimes that's with uh, muscle relaxers, although there's also a pain mediation in the brain with muscle relaxers, but we can sometimes see increased pain because the ligaments are now under more load, more stress. So to get to the root cause, we go in and we want to inject the ligaments with our orthobiologics, whether that is prolotherapy or PRP or some other solution that's in our syringe. So that is our story for the day. I hope you enjoyed and see you tomorrow. Thank you.